Hello, my name is Marcus Stephen, and I'm the president of the Republic of Nauru. Can you find Nauru on a map? You should look for it soon, because one day my beautiful island country might not be there. The continued existence of my island and many others like it in the Pacific is threatened by climate change. Scientists warn that within our children's lifetime, sea levels may rise by a metre or more. This would wipe out low-lying coastal areas and many Pacific islands would be a distant memory. But we don't need to wait for this catastrophic scenario to see the impacts of the climate change. We live with them every day. Flooding and inundation are already eroding our shores and contaminating our water supply. Higher water temperatures and ocean acidification are damaging the marine ecosystems that we depend on for food. And we pray that malaria doesn't find its way to our doorstep. Science tells us that we must reduce the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere to 350 parts per million or less in order to avoid the most dire climate change scenarios. However, most developed countries have proposed emission targets that would result in levels far higher. This is not acceptable policy when human lives are at stake. If a doctor prescribes medicine to treat a serious illness, do we only give the patient half of what is needed? If an engineer says eight columns are necessary to support a building, would any responsible person recommend that we only use four? Then why are the most vulnerable countries are asked to accept proposal that would surely lead to their extinction? Some experts estimate that climate change will force as many as 150 million people to abandon their homes over the next 50 years. That is a staggering number, far beyond human comprehension and would represent a tragedy on a horrific scale. However, my immediate concern is the well-being of the 10,000 citizens of Nauru, whom I have sworn to protect. I've never shied away from a fight. As a former Olympic weightlifter and a seven times gold medalist at the Commonwealth Games, I have faced seemingly insurmountable odds and found a way to come out on top. But saving my people from climate change is one challenge I cannot overcome alone. That is why I am calling on the international community for help. We must all act together and we must act now. In December, the world leaders will gather in Copenhagen to decide our collective future. The science is undeniable, the way forward is clear, and the tools are at hand. All that is missing is the political will. My people have started to ask, does our island have a future? My hope is that the world will, will respond with a resounding yes. Thank you.